Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, here to review Monday, the fourth feature directed by Aguirre's Papadimiotropoulos, uh, which premiered uh, out of TIFF Industry Selects uh, at the 2020 Toronto International Film Festival uh, and will be released April 16th, 2021, courtesy of IFC Films, um, starring Sebastian Stan and Denise Guff uh, as a pair of uh, self-imposed expats uh, in Athens who fall in love and have a kind of toxic symbiotic relationship born out of arrested development. Um, at nearly two hours, it does uh, get a bit long in the tooth. Uh, it starts off on a note that's kind of similar to like Andrew Hyde's weekend. Um, Sebastian Stan is a DJ named Mickey who has lived there for seven years. Uh, we eventually learn he has a six-year-old child with a woman he's not on speaking terms with, although he wants visitation rights with his son. Um, Guff plays Chloe, uh, a woman who has been living in Athens for the past 18 months, has recently got over a very toxic uh, relationship with a, a corporate gaslighter, Christos, uh, and she is, at the end of this weekend, going to be moving back to Chicago for a new uh, position. Uh, she's a lawyer. Uh, however, the, the meet-cute ends with uh, them both very drunk at a party uh, at a house that belongs to Argyris, uh, played by Yorgos Perpasopoulos, uh, who was starred, of course, in Athena Rachel Stangari's Chevalier. Uh, they wake up naked on the beach. They had been so bombed, uh, and they are uh, arrested by authorities, to which they're uh, automatically released. Uh, she doesn't have her keys to her house. They spend the day together. Uh, he does another DJing gig. They get drunk again, uh, wake up the next morning, and technically are more or less in love. The very cliched sequence at the airport where he... Uh, goes to her right as she's about to board her plane out of the country. Uh, and then that's where the film starts setting up. Um, every, uh, on a series of Fridays, we kind of meet this couple at different junctures, from when she's moving in, her birthday, to Christmas. Uh, and all along the way, we see that we are, get, are given very repetitive evidence uh, about Mickey's irresponsibility and kind of how she's in this certain limbo of wanting to be with him in that regard and also being forced into the role of acting as the adult. Um, this is kind of the scenario uh, that a lot of film noirs used to have, or, or Bonnie and Clyde, but uh, Gun Crazy uh, came up to my in my mind several times, like this intensity of two people that are completely uh, obsessed with one another because there's a lot of sex in the scene and both of them bear all, uh, but really, uh, to no great effect, and even the sex sequences don't uh, convey this kind of obsession or titillation either of them have for another, e even though that is clearly projected as all that is keeping them, the glue that holds them together. Um, we're fed, again, like I said, a lot of very repetitive information that should have felt more efficient. And the, this was written by Rob Hayes alongside Papa Demi Papadimiotropoulos, and Ray Hayes wrote uh, Chewing Gum uh, and Gretel and Hansel. So, but it also feels like there are a lot of sequences that are improvised, like the actors were given uh, goals uh, to meet about information and exposition that needs to come out in this scene and let, let them try to manage that, uh, because a lot of this feels artificial and inauthentic. Um, I was a big fan of Suntan, the last film by Argyris uh, Papadimiotropoulos, uh, about a uh, weird little man, uh, a doctor that's obsessed with a, a younger woman that he follows around on this Greek island. Uh, and to me that felt very uh, post-Greek weird wave, like this is where uh, contemporary uh, Greek auteurs will now be kind of developing these continually odd stories. Uh, and this feels like an idea that doesn't ever really get across. And again, unlikable characters are fine and, and perfect and welcome. It's just that uh, these are uh, a handful of characters that are all uh, egregiously uh, uninteresting. Um, so there's hard to, th th you know, there, and it's jam-packed with events. There's an abortion, there's a, a revelation of the abortion, all of which don't really have the impact that you'd expect them. It would. Uh, overall, I would give Monday one out of five stars. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOwnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.